James has been whipping up that lemon meringue pie for us, and you were saying that it reminds you of being a child. Me too. Yeah. My mum used to make this, and I love it. I Definitely. Love it. I mean, it's a retro classic. Yeah. Um, quite easy to do. I've got a couple of cheats along the way for it all as well. And um, to kick off, really, we need we need the base. We need the tart case as right. such. So here, I've got a blind bake pastry shell. Okay. Blind bake. What does that? Mean? Basically, rolled out the pastry. You could use shop ball. Um, right. I've got a recipe on the website that's yes, going to go yes, up. Yes. Um, you roll it out and you dot it and you put some baking beans in it and put it in the oven for 20 minutes at gotcha. 180 and it cooks the pastry. However, 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 if you really wanted to cheat, you could buy a tart case. Okay. Okay, right. Sweet pastry is done and then you can fill it. Actually, that would be lovely. Well, there, there <laughs> is that option there for you if you wanted Thank to do you. that. Anyway. I've made one, yeah, so that's all cool. Have, right, now, for the filling, the all-important lemon filling, mm. OK? Um, it, I think it's quite easy to do. This is a very simplified recipe. OK. We've got a few eggs um, put over a pan of... Ju it's just coming up now. You don't want it boiling, and it doesn't touch the bottom. It's called a bain-marie. It's not. It's a pan of water with a bowl in it, OK? okay. But <laughs> as long as it doesn't touch, that's fine. Right. OK, now, I've uh, just uh, zested some lemons and given them a little swizzle on there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're just going to get the lemon juice straight in there into the eggs. A touch of zest goes in there as well. Ooh. When I say a touch, quite a bit. This is it's four lemons, but right. this is to feed a family. Yeah? Yes. OK, and again, just watch it. If your lemons are a bit waxy, wash them under the tap with a Brillo pad and it will take off any wax that okay. sometimes they've got on them. A little bit more um, zest goes in there. Look at that, I'm using the finest setting. I don't want it too thick, otherwise it gets a bit stuck in your teeth. Oh, we yeah? don't want that. Not at all. <laughs> OK, right, so in that goes there. Mm -hmm. Um, touch of butter and some sugar in this instance. Sugar obviously counteracts that harsh lemon taste and the butter, well, that just makes it all come together and go really lovely Gorgeous. and glossy. Yeah. Now, I'm not boiling it, I'm simmering it. OK. You dissolve the sugar, you let the butter melt in and you basically just gently, every now and then, go back, keep an eye on it, stir it around for 10 minutes, mm. OK? And then we leave it to cool. Let me just clear all of this because, Lorraine, you might like this one. There is another cheat as well. Good. <laughs> what you could do... You could buy yourself a jar of high-quality lemon curd. But Seriously? Well, you could do. You could put it in your pastry case, whether you make the pastry or not. Right. But, I mean, obviously, I think it's quite nice to make it. I yeah? think it probably is nicer to make, but that's a really good handy thing to do. You basically just use that? You could do. You could okay. do. I mean, it's a quick, it would be a seriously quick dessert then, wouldn't it? You know, for the weekend, yeah. for the family. Absolutely. But, as you can see, not boiling, and it just slowly starts to come together. The butter will melt. It's because the egg mixture's cold, but you want it right. to do it very, very gradually. Sure. Gotcha. OK, so it cooks out, basically, mm. yeah? Butter thickens it with the eggs as well. Right. And then you leave it to cool and hey presto. <gasps> Look at that. We've got one. Gorgeous. Okay? Now it's cooled down, and as you can see, it's quite set up, and it that's is. what that's what you want. Let right. me just turn all of this off. Uh, got my case. As it's cooled, we just get the lemon mixture, get yourself a spatula. Lovely. Oh, that looks beautiful. Clean that bowl right That out. does look better than just out of yeah, a jar, yeah. doesn't it? Let's be honest. And you said the butter makes it all glossy it, it as well. It makes it, that's where you get lovely. the sheen from it. it yeah, and oh, some nice eggs beautiful. in there. A little bit of zestiness mm. as well. Just make sure it just covers. Sure. Off that goes. Now, um, obviously we had four egg yolks in that recipe, which is on the web. And let's get the amounts right. It's four egg whites as well, so there's no wastage. This Perfect. is what I like about it. Absolutely. OK, we just bang that there. Um, I've got golden caster sugar. You could use regular. Golden will give it a nice little tinge. And oh, also um, that's good. quite a nice bitter sweetness. Mm. That's why it's in there. Right. Um, I've whisked up the eggs. We're just going to continue to do that. I'm going to add the sugar in additions. So half's gone in gradually. Right. Now the rest. And what you do is you use the, the uh, machine to... Basically, stop you getting grit, so it melts into it. Gotcha. Another binding agent is a touch of corn flour. Right. In that goes. This is this really helps hold the meringue. So. Right. Okay, and then you just give it all a good mix. Make sure everything's all uh, come come together. Lovely. Okay. Off that goes there. Get yourself a spatula. Now at this stage, we're just gonna get some of the mixture, and right. I'm just gonna drag it around the edges. There okay. is a reason why. What I, would, I don't want it to sink in on itself and this kind of acts as a little a little holder oh, for, the, for the rest of the meringue. So right. around that goes there. It doesn't, it doesn't have... have to be so, so stiff, that meringue. No, no, no not okay. at all. Not right. at all. You want it so it just holds. Right. OK, otherwise it will it, it will taste too eggy, I think, and it cooks ah, out. Right, okay. right, so there you go, right to the edges, roughly. Mm -hmm. Now, this stage, this is where you get the lot. Now, you could pipe this, you could swirl it as well, if you wanted to. It's yeah. entirely up to you. Let me just get everything out completely. And like I said, you could do little twists if mm. you wanted to. But what I like to do is just literally, you could either use a spoon or just this spatula, and just do... We're just going to... We'll kind of layer it, really. See how it looks completely yeah. unnatural and, like, little 
little peaks, really, as I like such. Like little mountains. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Now, Lovely. you preheat your oven, 170 yep. degrees, to get mm -hmm. rid of that. Into the oven that goes, 15 to 20 minutes, leave it to set, right. and then cut a slice. 